Hello, I'm Ben. Today our group will be discussing heterolithic stratification, particularly in tidal environments. I will introduce heterolithic bedding and outline the mechanism and main factors in its formation. My friends will then cover the three different types of heterolithic bedding, laser bedding, lenticular bedding and wavy bedding. Heterolithic bedding is a sedimentary structure consisting of interbedded deposits of mud and sand. The type form depends on the quantity and type of sediment available and the energy which is provided by the tides. Tidal energy is sourced from the gravitational pull of the sun and moon on the ocean's water. When tidal flow is towards the land, this is known as flood flow, whereas tidal flow away from the land is known as ebb flow. As these flows are in separate directions, before a flood flow reverses to become an ebb flow or vice versa, a period of slack water with a current of zero velocity occurs. Slack water can last from seconds to minutes. As can be seen in figure two, it is the alternating of the tidal current velocities which enable the formation of heterolithic bedding. The ebb and flood flows enable ripple formation and the stagnant water allows for the deposition of suspended mud. Ron will now discuss flazer bedding. Thank you, Ben. As you can see, flazer beds are sedimentary bidirectional bedding patterns created when sediments undergo intermittent flows, eventually resulting in alternating sand and mud layers. It is transported by bed load transport and occurs at lower flow regime of ripples. While flazer beds usually form in tidal environments, we can also expect to see them in fluvial conditions. Individual sand ripples are created, which are later infilled by mud during quieter flow periods. These mud drapes are typically a minor constituent of the deposits. The structure tells us that flazer beddings form in high energy environments. I'm now going to pass on to Kami, who is going to be talking about lenticular bedding. Unlike flazer bedding, Lenticular bedding is composed of more mud than sand particles. It is a cross laminae of isolated sand ripples which are completely surrounded by mud. Lenticular bedding is formed during periods of slack water. This is a short period of time before the tide changes direction, which is when the body of water has zero velocity. The suspended mud particles are then able to settle on small formations of sand during this period. Lenticular bedding is usually found in high energy environments such as seashores and helps provide a representation of tidal rhythm and currents. Hi everyone, my name is Yang. Wavy bedding is a form of sediment characterized by interbedded ripple sands and mud layers. Wavy beds are commonly found on storm-dominated shelves but also in lakes, intertidal areas and other environments where energy levels fluctuate appreciably. If mud and sand deposits are equal, wavy bedding is produced. Wavy bedding occurs where mud is deposited over the whole area of a bed of report or cross stratified sand. It usually flows the alternating concave convex nature of the ripples creating a wavy appearance. In wavy bedding, the ripples are discontinuous. Wavy bedding marks the boundary between flather and lenticular bedding as well. Overall, wavy bedding should be located in the lower flow regime diagram. So the main three types of heterolithic bedding as seen are flazer, lenticular, and wavy bedding. The type which is formed depends on the quantities of sand or mud in the area and the energy provided by fluctuating tidal current velocities. Thank you for listening.